I am looking forward uh, to, to opportunities where Facebook is going to be able to work together uh, with this new administration. Um, on some of their top priorities. 一月三十一号，美国卧底调查组织真相工程在 YouTube 频道公布一支脸书内部会议的影片。脸书创办人扎克伯格在会议中表示，希望在舆论导向上继续与拜登政府合作。In his first day, President Biden already issued a number of executive orders on areas that we as a company really care quite deeply about and have for some time. In areas like immigration. Uh, preserving DACA and ending restrictions on travel from、uh, Muslim-majority countries,、um, as well as、uh, other executive orders on on climate、um, and advancing、uh, racial justice and equity. 脸书副总裁克莱格也在会议中表示，世界各地的领导人都对于私人公司获得太多权利感到担忧，包括墨西哥总统奥布拉多尔、反对派领袖纳瓦尼以及德国总理默克尔等。And others saying, "Well, this shows that private companies have got too much power, and they should be only making these decisions in a way that is framed by democratically、uh, agreed rules." We agree with that. We agree with that. Mark, are you very clear about that? 美国保守派主持人克劳德周一表示，他已经在美国加利福尼亚北区联邦地区法院对脸书提起诉讼，指控脸书虚假广告违反反垄断法、不正当竞争和欺诈。他的律师李奇蒙德也上他的节目说明为何要对脸书提起诉讼。克劳德在网站上写道：“关键的纠正措施是禁令救济。”我们还要求赔偿七位数的金钱损失。这样做的目的是迫使脸书政策的实施和执行能够确保诚实性和清晰度。我们的观点是，我们支持企业，但反对欺诈。脸书承诺在执行其政策时不涉及政治、种族或宗教偏见，以及引诱消费者和创作者花钱、提供数据和观点。但他们却明里暗里都这么做了。因此，我们提起这场诉讼。新唐人亚太电视张麒麟综合报道。